welcome to my channel today we would be discussing about rest assured so it's an api testing tool and basically used for java tests so the biggest advantage of rest assured it's is it's a behavior driven testing tool so you can easily understand what is happening in the test case by seeing the java file and it provides ample lot of support for assertion libraries so it's easy to verify whether the json file has a specific content or the xml has a specific content before we go into rest assured first let us understand what is a rest api and try to understand how to test it so rest means representation state transfer that is a big statement and frankly you don't have to worry about it so let's take this example of this URL, right? And see the last end of this URL. So basically it says to do and slash one. So whenever there's a REST API, usually it is trying to represent a resource. So in this case, it is trying to get all the list of to do's and out of that specifically, we are saying, give me out of a list of to do's the first one. So that is the basic understanding of REST. It is uh, basically a way to, get your resources as a URL. Now, when REST APIs are implemented, usually you will have the support for CRUD operations, which means creating a new to-do, updating a to-do, deleting or even modifying it. And usually the REST API responses would be JSON. Maybe it can be even a HTML site or an image or something. But usually when we try to test it, this, these are JSON datas which are shown in a UI, right? And this is another important point. REST APIs are stateless. So what that means is from any machine you hit this endpoint, it will give the same response. So that does not mean that once you have a session, the to-do list will give you a specific response. So it's stateless. It does not know whether you are logged in or you have a session. And mainly REST APIs are used for programmatic access. So it is basically called from another services or maybe from a UI too. So rather than directly accessing your data in the DB, your UI will access your REST APIs. So it's really important to test them, especially in an automated way. And that is where REST Assured comes into the picture. So like we said, it supports BDD syntax, which is given when then so those who have written cucumber test they will find it very easy to understand the syntax and you can read the code also easily and like we said it has support for hamcrest assertion libraries so on top of all the JUnit libraries you have specific keywords or methods you can use and when you're testing an api you also need to test its headers so it supports verifying the specific headers also, it supports adding basic authentication or other authentication mechanisms. So whenever the API is um, usually when it is exposed in the public to protect it, there would be some authentication methods. So that also you can provide using REST Assured. Now to understand REST Assured, we need some REST endpoints. For that, you can create some REST endpoints with this site called MyJSON server, where basically let's see one of those examples so i have a github repository created basically only for exposing some json endpoint so as you can see here it's called db.json it has some json value right and if i host it in my json server so basically it gives you an endpoint like this right so this is my github uh, repo inside that to do and db now this became a rest endpoint as you can see here you are resp uh, giving back a json response this we can use in our test so if you are also learning json or rest api for the first time you can definitely create some api endpoints here to understand and test and that endpoint the server the my json server gives support for get post and delete even though it does not do actual delete or post you can try it out and finally all the codes is hosted in our github repository 
Now let us see our sample example. So this is our to do our uh, test app and inside that it's a JUnit 5 test. So you have a test instance similarly and a before role where the first statement we are saying is log all your request and response. So in the request whatever happens you can see it in the console similarly the response. And the second statement here is saying the base endpoint or where the application is right. So this is the domain this is not the resource this is the url now and our first test it says verifying the array size so like we saw here it is having an array response right so there are two values so what this test does is hit this endpoint and make sure so when i hit this so this is the when statement then the response should be 200 as well as the size should be 2 and the second test is verifying the first array value so in our case the first array has an id code 1 so when i hit this endpoint then it is extracting all the values so you are getting back an array you are extracting and putting it here and you are getting the first value out of it and getting the id right and making sure it is one third like we said it supports header validations so here it's trying to hit this endpoint when i hit this then the status same 200 as well as there should be header called content type with this value and like we discussed it also supports authentication here our endpoint does not need authentication but for the <coughs> sample purpose we are just trying it so here we have even added a given statement given i hit this endpoint with basic auth when i hit with this value then the response similarly content type should be there something of that sort right so we discuss few get operations now let's see delete so here you can see the get is the syntax for all the get operation now for delete only difference is it will be becoming delete so we are saying when i hit delete the status code should be 200 ideally you will after deleting you will make sure make another get call and make sure this resource is not there right so to do delete one so after that you will see get of one and it should not be there and the final test is post operation so where you are adding some value so for that i created a new to do item so yeah so here is our to do class which has an id title and completed <coughs> so the to do name is like the video so as you can see in the title it says please like the video and you guys also please spend some time like the video as well as subscribe and when you give this as the body so you are saying given this is the body when i hit post then the status should be 200 ideally you may even have another statement to make sure that whatever you have posted is there but like i said the api which we have testing is a mock api it does not save the post data right so you won't see this but you can test it and make sure that it is coming back 200 now let's run our test here before that let's quickly see the pom file also so this is the rest assured dependency and this is our junit jupyter engine this is the maven dependency needed to convert a object so your to do dot java into json as well as a json object back to a java class so for example here uh, here after you extract you are saying convert the response to a object right so that is done by the jackson now let's run this test maven test so there are around four tests i believe four or six so first the delete post get all the get operations and six test run zero failure everything successful right so this is basically as we gave log the console it is showing all the logs here you can play around with this 
so yeah that is it regarding this tutorial please feel free to fork the repository go through the code even create a pr against it if you feel something can be improved thank you guys